Every single year during the Christmas season, I make it a point to go to the gift bag aisle and get some beautiful gift bags that we can use for crafting. Although they are great for gift giving, crafting with them is so much fun. We're going to start with this wood plank. These are found at Dollar Tree year round. I'm going to remove the juice string and I'm just going to give it one coat of this beautiful red crimson from Waverly. All it needed was one coat and I'm just going to set it to the side to dry while I work on this beautiful gift bag again from Dollar Tree. It has this wreath form and happy holiday sign in the front. And basically I just want to remove that top portion very carefully with my little tiny spatula. I want to make sure that the little sticky pad stays on the actual part that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to carefully remove each one and then we are going to then reuse the bag for gifting or other crafts, but we're just going to use this part. I had a little bit of a curve, so I'm just going to straighten it out as best as I can. And I'm going to bring my favorite fairy lights. I get these on Amazon and I do have them in my Amazon store, which is linked below in the description box. Anyways, you can use Dollar Tree ones, but you get more bang for your buck when you buy them there. Anywho, we're just going to tape them using clear tape to the back of this wreath. Basically, I want to put them as close as possible to the edge and go all the way around. And then with the battery pack, that was a little tricky, but I was able to figure out that it basically, you just want to tape the excess wiring. And then you want to make sure that the little part where you can click on and off is facing outward, just like this. So tape the excess wire and then hot glue the battery pack right there. All right, so now that the wood round is dry, we're going to center the wreath form right there in the center. And then we're going to hot glue it, basically adding a little bit of dab of hot glue in each sticky tab from the back. This is going to allow it to stick, but still give me that room and space behind for the battery pack as well as the lights. And there we are. We turned it on. Wait until you see this in the darker room. Oh my word. Okay, we're going to flip it over. We're just going to add this striped white and red ribbon you can also keep the jute string it came with it does not matter i'm going to hot glue it and tape it to the back back to the front now i want to make this a little bit more 3d although you can definitely leave it like this and it will look gorgeous we're going to add some of these evergreen picks i do get these on amazon but you can certainly use the ones from dollar tree we're going to hot glue them facing one way all the way around in between each white poinsettia and then we're going to add some of these red berries again from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to add a little bundle on top of the, uh, just that little end portion of the evergreen picks. How gorgeous is this wreath form? I don't even know if to call it a wreath or a wood round. It doesn't matter. It's gorgeous. It's 3D. It's textured and I love it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are going to take this beautiful snowy barn gift bag. Again, a great find at Dollar Tree for $1.25. Holy moly. Okay, we're going to cut off the front. It's going to look messy, but then we're just going to nicely straight cut all of the edges to remove that excess paper. And I did rip it just a little bit when I was removing it from the other part of the bag, but I made it work. You can't even see it, but I did rip it and I wanted to tell you. All right, Dollar Tree has these canvases in the Dollar Tree Plus area. They come two in a pack and they are large and I'm gonna use one of them because it will be perfect for the size of the gift bag that we're working with. We're gonna remove the plastic and we're gonna just paint using the same paint color from earlier in the Crimson Waverly. And we're gonna paint the edges, maybe about two inches from the edges, as well as the sides of the canvas. Once dry, we are gonna place the gift bag right on top. So we're creating a little frame for the design. Now I don't want the edges to have that crisp, straight line. So once I had it glue, hot glued in place, we're gonna take more paint on my paintbrush and then we are going to just soften those lines by giving it a little bit of a distressed dry brush technique on the edges. This is gonna bring everything together. It's kind of like sliding onto the frame. You can skip this part though. If you like the way it looks with the straight sides and straight edges, 
please leave it. I want it to just blend it in a little bit more. So I'm just going to use, again, the same brush. Just dry brush a little bit of paint onto the design. And this is going to blend everything in together. I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry. And while that's drying, we're going to take these frosted picks from Dollar Tree. Fluff them up a bit. Cut off the excess stem, and then we're going to join them together to create a little swag. We're going to use a leftover piece of a white towel from Dollar Tree. We're going to hot glue it in place, roll it around a few times, tighten it as we go, and then just securing it with more hot glue. And this is what's going to go at the top of the design. Now, you can leave it the way it was, of course. It just felt like it needed something. It also had the two little holes for where the uh, string was hanging from, but I added a poinsettia from Dollar Tree right there in the center, and I think it's stunning. Oh my word, I love the way this turned out. I love the colors. It's so cozy and Christmassy. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we are going to start with this wooden blank from Dollar Tree. You can find this in the crafting aisle year round. It is very rough to the touch when you first buy it. So I'm going to sand it smooth, especially on the edges. Remove all splinters and then wipe it and dust it very well. We're going to give it one coat of white Waverly chalk paint. And you can use any color, of course. And we're just going to put it to the side and let it dry. We're going to create a little vignette that you can use to place anywhere in your home during the Christmas season. This gorgeous gift bag, again from Dollar Tree, has this little stacked gift little portion. And it has that 3D look, same as the first craft. And we're going to carefully remove it once again using my little spatula, leaving those little tabs where they are. You can also leave them just like this, but I wanted to attach it to cardboard. This is on a thinner side cardboard, just so that we can make it a little stronger and sturdier. All right, so once we trace it, that where I'm going to use my blade knife, and I'm just going to cut it off and making sure that it fits nicely and flush behind the design. So once again, I'm going to use hot glue and just hot glue it to the surface using the little tabs. All right, we're going to flip it over and we're going to add three of these tumbling tower wood blocks from Dollar Tree. You can find these in their toy aisle. And we're just going to use three of them because it's going to help us keep this gift stack nice and straight up. That way it's not going to flap around on us. Once the board was dry, we're going to hot glue the whole thing right there in the center. And this is what it should start to look like. How cute. Dollar Tree has tons of these bottle brush Christmas trees and these have little tiny ornaments. I'm just going to remove the base, mark where I need to drill, and then using my drill, I'm just going to drill a hole and then attach the little tree with hot glue right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And this is what it should start looking like. You can leave it like this, actually. It's so cute. All right, we're going to add a couple of these small little evergreen picks from Amazon. Right there, two of them to the front. And then we're going to add a red poinsettia from Dollar Tree right there in the center. And I think that brought everything together. Love this little vignette. Again, this is something you can add to any little corner in your home for added Christmas decor. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. For this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, we're going to take this Winter Wonderland gorgeous little tiny gift bag, remove it from the rest, and we're going to keep that little white cardboard or cardstock portion from it because we're going to reuse that. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut off the snow globe portion of it. You can use your scissors, of course you can, just I like using the X-Acto knife because it just leaves nice straight lines. All right, these canvases I found on a trip to Florida. We visited a local Dollar Tree there and I found them. I've never seen them at my Dollar Tree and I used them for some summer crafts about a couple of years ago and I had this one left over and we're going to use it. We're going to hot glue the snow globe right there to the front and towards the bottom 
And then we're going to take that cardstock that we kept earlier and we're going to use my snowflake hole puncher design. And we're going to hole punch several of the snowflakes and we're going to use this to hot glue them all around the snow globe. Now I do have these hole punchers. They come in a set of six with different shapes and designs. And I have them in my Amazon store again. If you want to check that out, it is linked down below. All right, we're going to use these greenery picks from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to cut up several stems. And again, we're going to create a smaller little swag for this one. Use some more of that leftover a towel from Dollar Tree. We're going to roll it around in the center and then we're going to hot glue that to the top of the canvas. And then I'm going to add a couple of small little tiny picks that I had left over that have a silver tone just to keep it in that winter wonderland um, design. And we're going to hot glue them to the front to make sure it hides the, the towel, although you can leave it. It looks nice, but I just want to add a couple little of these. And I love that it brought everything together. Such a simple craft, so wintry also. It can be used for Christmas as well as winter, but I think it's so beautiful, so soft, and also so easy to make. Well, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. I have another video here for you, my friends, with tons more of Christmas Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.